Good morning, everyone. How are you this beautiful day, this beautiful day that the Lord has made? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And every Monday we have episodes, Hope and Faith Journey. This is where we talk about our struggles, our challenges, and we find encouragement and hope for healing, always knowing we can turn to God about anything. Today's episode title is Forgive Me. Today, I'll share with you several scriptures relating to forgiveness that will answer questions that you may have about forgiveness and how it ties with salvation. So, here's the first one. I'm a good person, so why should I ask for for forgiveness? 1 John 1, 1 through 10. This is the message we hear from Jesus and now declare to you, God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth, but if we are living in the light as God is the light, then we have fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sins. Okay, so... From that we know that we've all sinned, it's in our nature, only by the blood of Jesus can we receive forgiveness. Well, let's go to verse 8. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Another question. Am I required to forgive others? Matthew six fourteen. If you forgive those who have sinned against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Mark eleven twenty five. But when you are praying, first forgive someone you are holding a grudge against so that your Father in heaven will forgive you of your sins too. Luke six thirty seven, Do not judge others. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others, or it will all come back against you. Forgive others, and you will be forgiven. So there's condition. If I'm forgiven of sins through the blood of Jesus, am I a child of God? 1 John 2, verse 12. I am writing to you who are God's children because your sins have been forgiven through Jesus. Is my forgiving others an ongoing process? Colossians 3 verse 13. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Ephesians 4 verse 13. 11, um, Ephesians 4 verse 32. Instead, be kind one to each other, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ Jesus has forgiven you. So, how many times must I forgive others? In Matthew 18 21 through 22, in the parable of the unforgiving debtor, Peter then asked Jesus, and and this is what he said, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? And he thought that was a high number. But Jesus came back with this. No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. In other words, we must forgive repeatedly. (laughs) So in what I've learned here, I can say that I am a loved child of God, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Because I've repented of my sins and believing in Jesus, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Salvation is the ultimate miracle, and miracles happen when we believe. Are you a believer? Let me give two or three scriptures about salvation that ties in with forgiveness. John 3.16 gives reason for salvation and how we can obtain it. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. 
eternal life. Is there any other way to be forgiven, to be saved? John 14, 6. Jesus himself said this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Do you believe that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God who suffered and died on the cross to pay for your sins and he arose on the third day? Are you sincere with your faith that God will forgive you? I pray that you'll talk to the Lord today. Repent, ask forgiveness, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and receive, receive. Why is your salvation so important? 1 John 5, verse 11 through 13 explains it. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have God's Son does not have life. I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. You might say, Lord, I've forgiven others. I've asked for your forgiveness and accepted you as Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Then Romans 4, 7 through 8. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sins are put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of sin. I hope that answers the questions regarding forgiveness and how it ties in with salvation. And I hope that you jotted these down for you to study on your own. Let me close with this. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you for joining me in this episode of Turn to God with Karen. Uh, I am Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence, victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. I love to share the good news of Jesus. Stay tuned for Turn to God with Karen every Monday morning at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for Hope and Faith Journey. And then Wednesday's episodes are Sword of the Spirit. Friday we have Karen's Book Corner. I invite you to share your comments and suggestions. Any feedback is most welcome. You can go to my website contact page to give that to me, KarenJaneCasey.com. When you go there, you'll also see books, blogs, podcasts that I've written. My series, Standing Through Storms, which includes Stand With Your Armor On, are all Fiction, bestsellers designed to encourage and bring hope to people as they face various challenges. A New Song Rises Up is a nonfiction where I candidly share my own journey, what I've learned, and how the Lord was there for me and can be for you. If you've read and enjoyed any of my books, if they have evoked any positive change for you, please let me know. And... I'd appreciate an excellent review on Amazon.com. Well, thank you and God bless.